I mean, I take on board exactly what you're saying, but I, the problem with the short run is that we can't make it pay once we've covered the advertising. Hello. Sorry, I'll, I'll be a moment. Hi. Where should we talk? I can't actually talk right now. Should we talk here or should we go somewhere more private? Really, it's a bad time. Oh, right! Like it wasn't a bad time for me when I got your text message. Sorry. I've got to go. Steve. When you lie in bed at night, what do you miss most? Whoa, 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 whoa! Cover yourself up, for God's sake. So can you see me now, then? Come on. Thought you might like to know that the police want to interview you tomorrow. Me? What about? Oh, that window you smashed in the park last summer. What do you think? The body's stupid. Why do they want to interview me? I'll be there. You've got nothing to worry about. Why do you need to be there? Well, they'll let you go through this on your own, do you? I'll be all right. Maybe it's better if you don't come. Well, your mother can't go. You know how emotional she gets. She shouldn't even know about this. Uh, OK. It's going to be fine. Oh, you'd be so sure. Because we're going to black you up, call you Ali, and take it to the European Court of Human Rights. How do you think? I've been in deeper shit than this before, and I always find an answer. Always. What I do. Look where you're going. Hey, sit on that and sing Nessie Dorma. Oh. <laughs> hey, what to tell you? Equipped for every occasion. We can't <laughs> lose. I think you need to find someone closer to your own age. Someone dull. You want someone different, and that's perfectly understandable. You know, maybe that's why you ended up with me. Yeah, but you're different to older men as well. Like your dad, you mean? Well, that's not so difficult. That's what freaked you out, isn't it? Meeting my dad. Didn't it? No, what freaked me out was meeting him again. Jane. I know your dad from years ago. But you can't. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't recognise him at first. It was a long time ago. I haven't seen him since we were at school together. You and my dad were at school together? I don't believe it. Fred, so. It's a slightly different complexion of things, doesn't it? Well, it's a surprise. Yeah, of course it is, but... That doesn't have to change anything between us. Don't you see? I can't look at you anymore without being reminded of that. What? Dad. The age difference, it's wrong, Cheyenne. It's brought it all home to me. We shouldn't be doing it. Well, I shouldn't be doing it. Steve, what is this about? Because you've never thought like this before. Well, I think like it now. And that's all that matters, isn't it? What I think now. Change your mind. Now you're beginning to sound like him. Sorry, Cheyenne, it's all over. The police are talking to all the girls. There's nothing to worry about. There's the bloke who talked to you called Carlisle. What difference does it make? Because he's the one to watch. He's slippery. I see him nice. Yeah, well, he's good at seeming anything you want him to be. Well, he brought coffee and pastries. Oh, well, that settles it then, eh? Let's make him head of the United Nations. You wouldn't think he was nice if you saw him as you're coming after my lad. Your lad? We interviewed him. When? First thing tomorrow. But well, what's it got to do with your lad? Nothing. He's doing it to get at me. Some people have no moral backbone. How is he? He's my son. Sharp as a tack. Nothing panics him. What are you doing? Well, I thought while we're here, I might as well collect the rent.
What do you think? Who are you getting dressed up for? Dad! Like he's really gonna notice. Well, I might just be doing it for myself. Oh, well, that's just about right in this family. That's what we all do everything for, isn't it? Ourselves. Look, I know you're upset about breaking up with Steve, but you can't carry on being like this. There they are, my two favourite women in the world. Did you know you were messing up my life before I was even born? What have we done now? Hey, you've been spending my money. What's that smell? What smell? On you, like rubber or something. Got a flat tyre. Had to change it on the way home. Oh, right. Are you having a shower? What, like you said, I stink. What's with all the questions? Hey, you trying to distract me from all the money you spent? No, I just, I just thought my wardrobe needed a bit of sprucing up, you know. Well, I won't argue with that. I'm surprised the tramps weren't giving you donations when you did that soup run. You any idea how embarrassing that was for me? Is this what we do now, Ripley? Unwrap an old argument and savour it all over again? Where are you going, anyway? I, d I don't know yet. I'm meeting the girls. Right. Unless you want to take me out, of course. I mean, I could always cancel. <laughs> Drag club. Why is that a problem for you? No, not at all. I'm very secure with my transgender issues. I just thought we should go somewhere that my husband was never likely to set foot inside. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> 